So I have to ask, Dr. King, what's the story with the clock? The clock is marked at every 12 minutes. That's how often a woman will die of breast cancer in this country. Can you believe that there may be a genetic link to some breast cancers? I do. Even though virtually no one else believes this to be true? That's correct. That's my big sister, Joan, and I. And we didn't know what trouble we were in. I found a lot in my breast. I'm really scared that it's in her family. It's not true. First true. I know your family history. That doesn't mean that you're going to get cancer. Your biopsy shows that you have carcinoma of the left breast. Phew. I thought it was going to be really bad news. We have a proposition that certain breast cancers are inherited. No one else believes this. We do. To prove it, we have to do four things. Sarah? Find a group of women who have relatives who have breast cancer. Second, we need to track the inheritance of our breast cancer gene from generation to generation. I just knew this was going to happen. It happened to my mom, and to my sister, and to my grandma. Many women feel that way. Your family did have a bit of bad luck, but there are many complex it's not factors. Bad luck. Third, isolate and sequence it to find the mutation. Then we find out if it repeats in the relatives. And if it does, then that is our link. We can't know anything. There's so many possible. We then need to figure out why a mutation in a single gene could lead to breast cancer in so many women. Why can't you just leave it alone? I've got to do something. My name's Annie Parker. There's a genetic link between mothers and daughters and sisters. You are a remarkable woman, Ann Parker. It is. And maybe those who say faith sustains us are right. And maybe it doesn't matter what we have faith in, as long as it's faith in something. Stars wash before.